Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube. I am really excited about today's video because a lot of you guys over the years have always asked me, how do you do wheelies or wheelie spins or even like hop a curve? So today's video is a little different. If you guys are new here, I'm Chelsea. I do a lot of different videos on like fashion, vlogs, lifestyle. I do some Amazon videos. So if you're new, join the family. Let's get to know each other and click the subscribe button and the little bell. So anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I do a wheelie and a wheelie spin as well as how I bump down curves. Now, for those of you, maybe the guys, maybe even some of you girls that uh, know how to go up a curb, yo, please teach me, call me, because I have no idea how to do that. I am terrified. And for those of you that are newly injured and new to the wheelchair community and new to this whole like lifestyle as a wheelchair user, I always thought that I would never need to learn how to jump a curb, ever. I thought when my occupational therapist taught me how to do that, I literally looked at her like, you're crazy. I will roll down a street to get to the little curb cutouts. And let me tell you, 10 years later, I'm so glad I forced myself how to learn how to jump a curb because that is not that is not the reality. So let's get into the video. I'm first going to show you guys how I hold a wheelie. So I'm going to get a little bit up here because it's a little flat. Also, before I start, I want to give a shout out to Steph Aiello. I just saw that she posted a YouTube tutorial on how she does a wheelie as a quadriplegic. So all my quadriplegic friends out there, make sure you guys click the link in my description and it will be to Steph's YouTube video on how she does a wheelie because it's very, very different. So wanted to give a little shout out to my girl Steph. So uh, my chair is a little different. My chair isn't very tippy. So if I go like this, it doesn't really tip at all. Every chair is different. The center of gravity is going to be the thing that makes all of the difference. If your center of gravity is really far back, Lord, you will not be able to do a wheelie. If your center of gravity, which is the axle right here, is a little bit more further forward, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for you to pop that wheelie. So here's how I do it. I lean a little, far, a little bit back to then crunch in and I push my wheels forward, okay? I don't have anti-tip bars because I don't need them at this point, um, but really rocking back and forth, really finding that center of gravity is gonna help you guys when you wanna lift one hand off or whatever. I do wanna say too, when you guys are trying this out, make sure you guys are going, you know, say there's a bed behind you or a, a couch or whatever, so that way you like can use the back of your wheels to kind of rest up against and learn how to get that crunch. You really wanna go back and then forward, okay? So really crunch that in. Also, your hands are something that you're gonna really like, I go bend to straight and then I kind of like go back and forth. Rocking is great. You guys wanna make sure that your chest, your shoulders is over the, um, the wheels, the axle part. Also, make sure you guys try this with someone with you. Don't try this by yourself. I don't wanna get a DM that you guys got hurt, okay? So, next that I wanna show you guys really quickly is how I do a wheelie spin. So, once you guys have learned how to pop a wheelie and going up and rocking back and forth, it's fine if you rock back, just push forward, yeah? So if I'm rocking back, I then lean forward, lean forward, never lean back, okay? So, if I wanted to, I'm gonna scoot my butt back. If I wanted to do a wheelie spin, this is something that I like never thought I would have to learn, but I'm so glad I know it, is I'm always going to start with one hand straight and one hand bent. That is giving you a really good solid prep, okay? So see I'm still moving back and forth, that's totally fine. You're not gonna just like sit still like this. That's like not, not really possible. So you're gonna, it is possible, but you know, you get like little leeway with this. So I'm gonna start one hand, one arm straight, one arm bent, and I'm going to bend and straighten the other arms like this, okay? So, what you can do, how I started, is I lifted up my hands. Also, I'm leaning forward. So, I'm gonna lift up my hands like this, okay? I'm lifting, I'm lifting, I'm lifting, lifting, yeah? So, going like that is really going to help you when spinning. You're gonna eventually be able to do it all in one stroke. But 
that takes time. It takes time, it takes balance. So once you get the lifting of the wheels, the hands off the wheels, then you can go into one, and then two, and then three, and then you're back. Then you can go one to back and two, okay? So I am using one of my hands, my right hand if I'm turning right, I'm using my right hand to give resistance on the wheel. So I'm going here, and then I'm giving resistance here, okay? And then I'm going here, and I'm giving resistance on this side to stop it, okay? So eventually you'll be able to just do one stroke, and I'm literally letting the wheels glide through my hands. So I'm pushing and I'm gliding. See that? I didn't even touch the wheel, like grabbing it. You just let it glide. So I hope that makes sense. Would love for you guys to send me videos of you trying this. Make sure you guys have some, make sure you guys have someone around you. Don't do this at home. It can be very dangerous, especially when first trying this out. So that is how I do that. I want to also show you guys another move that I learned as well. So this is if you go to the corner, you can pull back. I'm leaning a little bit back and then going forward this way. Then I'm going leaning back, forward this way. So that's gonna help you guys. Once you learn how to um, release off of the wheel and give tension, that's really going to help you when you're doing stuff like this, okay? See, I'm like, I'm not just stopping, I'm letting it glide, okay? Letting it glide, cool? So that also helps when you really know your center of gravity. I can't, I can't go much further than this because of my rods. Like Sam doesn't have rods, so her chest goes to her knees. Mine doesn't, so it's really different for everyone. Same with Steph. Steph doesn't have rods in her back. She can really hunch over her knees. This is as far as I can go though. So um, making sure that you get your chest to your knees instead of going like this. Oh, I'm in a wheelie, I'm in a wheelie. This is gonna be really hard for you to balance the weight of your legs, whether rather than having all of the, see how my legs are down? Rather than having it almost as, as much on top of the wheel as possible. So that's another little trick that I've learned over the years of how to make it a little bit easier. So what I've gone through so far is a wheelie, just a regular wheelie, um, going like this, yeah, wheelie and then really hunching over and pulling that in, yeah? So that's a great way to start. And then we went over um, slowly going around in a wheelie spin, and then a little bit faster, and then a little faster, and then we did a little bit of diagonal kind of um, side to side moves. So that's it for that one. And now I wanna show you guys my favorite that I never thought I would learn ever is a how to pop a curb. Hop a curb, pop a curb, hop a curb. So let's go. <laughs> All right guys, so this one is something that I never thought that I would ever need to learn. So this is how to jump a curb. Now this is, I feel like the perfect size. It's not too big. I have jumped ones that are taller. It is a little bit rough on your back. So just wanna give you guys a heads up. But the way that I learned this, I remember I was like maybe a year injured and I was so nervous is you really got to kind of get a running start almost, but you gotta be able to obviously master the wheelie first. So you don't need to really jump it like this. I feel like you could lose your balance easier if you do this way, starting out. But for me, I really, I have to, you know, get a running start and lift. Okay, I'm not gonna go off yet, but you go like this, lift, yeah? And you just let, let your fingers um, glide off the wheels, okay? So, I'm gonna do it here. So you're gonna go push and lift back and you just kinda like let your wheels roll off of the curb here, okay? So, I wish I could go back up, but what I would usually do is I would go here and then I would use like a telephone pole or like um, someone's hand and they would pull me up. We'll give a little example, Victor's going to Give me a hand up. Big kids in my YouTube video. You ready? <laughs> and then you just push up with your wheel. So, one more time, okay? You're gonna lean back and let your, if you, if you let your hands glide too much, you're gonna flip. So you gotta give resistance on the wheels, okay? 
So you're gonna just hold for car. So when going, you're gonna get a running start, right? You're gonna push and you're going to lean back. I'm gonna go slow, okay? And I'm just letting my hands glide. And I'm, get, and I'm squeezing the wheels when I feel like I'm going down a lot, okay? And then you, your front wheels just drop. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little different here. Um, I figured I would at least get this up on my channel for those of you that are asking in my DMs. Uh, but yeah, let me know what else you guys wanna see in uh, the comments. And I will definitely get that on our list and we'll get it done. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.